Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be an update to my project Use It Up. So this is the final update for the winter project, but I am going to be doing quite an overhaul because I'm not feeling the winter sense anymore. So I'm going to change it up and introduce a bunch of new stuff. I also finished off a lot of stuff. So this, um, even though this is like the last month of the winter finale, I'm, I'm just gonna switch things up because I'm getting bored and I wanna use my new stuff. So this will be the February update to my project Use It Up for the winter time. And then my introduction for the spring one will be in March. So look out for that one. But um, I'm so excited to show you guys because I finished off so much stuff. So let me go ahead and get started with the things that I finished in the last month. So probably my most proud moment, I finished up both of the scrubs that I was using. So I finished off Scentsy's um, Sugar Scrub in Appleberry. This was so yummy. It was like a pomegranate apple scent. Perfect for fall slash winter. It was like really nice and like fruity and it was so good in the shower. It was also really coarse and um, really good for like once or twice a week just to get rid of all the dead skin. And then Vanilla Bee Noel Whipped Sugar Body Scrub from Bath & Body Works. I finished this one off too. This is my favorite. I love the Whipped Sugar Scrub. It is so nice and it's perfect for like almost every single day because it's not very rough. And that was like, that was so much fun. So I'm so happy that I finished those off. And then I also finished off two of my set in Christmas cookies. So I finished off the um, Bath & Body Works Christmas Cookies Lotion. I'll show you guys. I started the project up here and then went to here in a month and finished it off this month. So I did really, really good. Um, it only took me two months to finish up a full size lotion and I finished it before the winter was over. So I feel like I did great with this one. And I also finished off my Philosophy Christmas Cookie um, Shampoo, Shower Gel and Bubble Bath. This is like the mini size. This is only six ounces and I believe their full size one is like 10 or 12. But here's my progress line that started off unused, went to here in a month and then I finished it off. This was so nice. I did buy another Philosophy shower gel because I really love this formula. It's very moisturizing and it's super nice and lathering. So I love this. And then I also finished off another full size body lotion in Winterberry Wonder. I legit finished this this morning, you guys. I'm so proud of myself. So I did get this much progress on it in one month and then I finished it off from there this entire month. So I was really focusing on it in January and finished it up. And the last empty that I have is the Hemp's minty and mellow peppermint little mini moisturizer and yeah i finished this one off i don't have lines on it i just finished it in one i think one and a half months it took me like a few weeks of the last month to finish it off this smelled really great but it was not moisturizing at all and made me kind of sad about that so i will not be purchasing hemp's uh body lotions anymore okay now let's move on to some of the stuff that i am just gonna retire from the project and that is all of my winter uh, fine fragrance mist. So since I finished off the Christmas cookies line, I'm going to take out Christmas cookies and the fine fragrance mist and I'll show you guys the progress that I got. So from this past month to now, I did not get a lot of progress on it. I didn't use it too much um, because I really finished off my Christmas cookies set like pretty early in the month. So I just didn't use it. So this one's going to go back in the collection. I also am going to retire the coconut mint drop. Um, this one is one of my favorites. I did get a significant amount of progress from here to here in a month. So that for me, that's pretty big. It's almost halfway. So I'm hoping next winter I'll finish it off. So we'll see about that one. And then Iced Sugar Plum. I got some pretty good use on this one. So from here to here. So I think I did pretty good on this one. I really enjoyed it. This one has no like lingering power at all. It does not stay for like a minute, <laughs> but it's it smells really great right out the bottle. So I really enjoy spraying this on myself, but it just has no lasting power. Okay, so with that being said, I'm gonna update you on like the two or three things that I had in the project the last time, and then we're gonna introduce some new stuff. Okay, the first of them being Winterberry Wonder and the shower gel. I was like not enjoying this the last month, but I've, I've still been using it. So uh, we started off last month right here and now we're down to here. So I've still been using it. I still wanna finish it off because I'm so close and I have some berry scents that I'm gonna put in with it. So hoping I can focus on this over the next couple of weeks and just finish it because I'm so sick of this scent. 
Like, I'm sorry, but I'm so sick of it. So Winter Berry Wonder will hopefully be done. I have my OGX coconut and coffee scrub and body wash upside down because I have this much left. So the last project, last time I updated you guys, it was up to here and I would say it's probably about right here, but I have it this way so that I'll finish it off in the shower. But I've been obsessed with this one and I've been taking a lot more morning showers. I changed up my morning routine and I work out in the mornings now. So this is like the perfect morning shower gel. And then wrapped in vanilla in the body cream. I've been absolutely enjoying this one. So it started off last month right here and now we are like down to here-ish. I'm kind of guesstimating, um, but I, I love wrapped in vanilla. It is so yummy and just spoiler alert, I am putting in the whole set for this upcoming month. I'm gonna update you guys on the Creme Shop X Hello Kitty Caramel Pumpkin Latte Scrub. This is a very, um, a very moisturizing scrub. It's actually like supposed to be a body mask as well as a scrub. And it was pretty much up to the top last time I up to you guys and I made a pretty significant dip. I would say we're about like right here. It's not really worth marking these body scrubs because it just rubs off in the shower. Um, but yeah, I'm doing really good on this one and I really do enjoy it, especially in the morning with those morning showers with the OGX scrub. Oh, so good. And then my perfumes, I've been really focusing on this month. So I have the Dossier Musky Musk and I did get some progress from here to here on it. So for me, that's pretty good. <laughs> and then my Mary Kay Winter Wishes. This is a super old perfume, but I did get from here to here on it. I have like the tiniest bit left. So I'm hoping over the next couple of months, I'll just be able to finish it off. I'm actually gonna put some on right now as we speak so I can use it even more. So that one I expect to be done fairly soon. All right, let's go in with some new items and I'm gonna, they're kind of like in sets. So I'll start off with the sets. The first set that I wanna introduce is wrapped in vanilla. So I already have the body cream in the project and I'm gonna put in the shower gel and the fine fragrance mist. So the shower gel is like pretty much unused. It's all the way uh, up here. I think I tested it a few times and then the fine fragrance mist is all the way to the top. So. Excited to use these. I'm so happy that they brought out this wonderful vanilla, vanilla icing scent. It's so good. So very excited to use this this month and I cannot wait to put this in the shower. And then to go along with Winterberry Wonder, I'm putting in some berry scents. Now this is a really weird combo because it's, it's a whole lot of different stuff. Okay. So first off, we have Champagne Toast in the Fine Fragrance Mist. Now this one's pretty old and I don't have a lot left. I'm less than halfway, um, to go so i definitely think i can finish it off if i focus on this probably from now until the summer project if i focus on it i can finish it so we are starting out right here and i really do love champagne toast for this time of year it's perfect to transition into spring so i will really be enjoying this one i think and for a moisturizer to go with it i'm gonna put an enchanted candy potion in the body cream so i i'm really excited to use this one because it is Spellbinding Sugar, Bewitched Berries, and Whipped Pixie Dust. It's just like a, a wonderful berry, a sugary berry scent. And I will say my cream is already getting a little yellow and it is from this Halloween. Like it's only from a few months ago. So I definitely should focus on using it because it's already changing color. Not that changing color really means it's going bad, but I just would rather be safe than sorry. But it smells so delicious. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. So I'm very excited to um, put this one in. I was saving it for the springtime anyways because I feel like this is not a fall scent. It is definitely a spring scent. So that is another one I'm putting in. And then as a scrub to go with it, since I don't have another very coarse scrub, I'm putting in the Onyx Bathhouse Hot Mess Express Foaming Body Scrub. Now this one is pomegranate and honey. And you can tell like this is the pomegranate, this is the honey, and this is the pomegranate. Um, but I am already a little ways down. I would say I'm like one third through it. So I'm, I just hit the yellow. So I'm about like right here and it smells really great. It smells like honey. It smells so good. So I'm excited to use this one. And I think this is like the only kind of spring like scrub that I have because everything else I have is summer. So I'll use this one and I, I will definitely enjoy it. And then this one is not in a set, but I do want to put in blush cardigan just to see how I like it. Um, the notes are sweet raspberries, sugar dipped violet, and warm amber. If there was ever a time to put it in, it would be right around Valentine's Day. So I'm going to just test it out. It's totally full, like literally to the top. 
Usually the sprays are not that, that high up, but yeah, I'm just excited to try it, see what I think of it and just test it out. So that's what blush cardigan is gonna go in for. And then the last set that I'm putting in is Vanilla Mocha Cream slash Vanilla Mocha Cafe. I love this. And I've been loving my morning routines with my like sh my coffee shower routine. So once the Onyx Bathhouse one, um, I finish that one, I'll put in this one in the shower. So Vanilla Mocha Cream or Vanilla Mocha Cafe or Vanilla Mocha Martini is Cozy Cappuccino, Vanilla Orchid, and White Tonka Bean. It's so amazing. Just a wonderful cozy scent. Oh my gosh, it's making me feel so happy that I'm gonna start using this because it smells so good. So I cannot wait to use this. And I actually can't see through the body lotion to mark it, but so the lotion, it looks like I've used it a few times. It's right here. And then the spray, I think I had it in a project previously. So I actually already have it marked and it's right here. So I can definitely get it down to like halfway, I think. But this is just like a really wonderful cozy scent. I think it's perfect for the transition into spring and I'm really excited to put this one in. All right, so now I've got a few minis to put in the project. The first one being the Midnight Amber Glow Fine Fragrance Mist. So I am going on a few trips this month and I wanna have options. So the first one is gonna be the Midnight Amber Glow. I love this scent and I don't think it'll be too hard to use it. And we are right here on the packaging. Then we have Victoria's Secret Bear Fine Fragrance Mist. Now this one is right here. I haven't really used it that much, um, so I definitely wanna test it out, see what I think. I'm going on a bachelorette trip and I feel like this would be like the perfect scent for that, so I will be using that then. I have an Into the Night Shower Gel, which I'm very excited to use. It is right here. I've never actually used Into the Night in uh, body care before, so I will be excited to test it out, see what I think. I think it's gonna be perfect for these trips. And then just because I want to, I'm gonna put in Midnight Amber Glow in the perfume. Um, I think it'll go really well with my coffee shower routine, but also just to travel with. Oh, and it smells amazing. And the only way that I can think to mark it is by doing it this way and seeing where the um, liquid falls. And we're about halfway. So we'll see how much progress I can make on that one. But this is one of my favorite perfumes. And I don't own any mini uh, body lotions. So I'll just have to figure something out on that front. But so that is everything for my project use it up update for the month of February. Like I said, I'll be traveling like a lot and I will be moving. So I'm probably just going to leave this body care out and pack up everything else. Um, but I'm excited because I put in some things that I really wanted to try and things that I've been craving. So I think this is going to be a really great month for me for body care and I'm very excited about it. And like I said, the spring introduction will be in March. So that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below. What are you wearing for the month of February? What is your like Valentine's Day scent? Do you have one or are you like over that? I totally understand if you are, but that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like comment and subscribe down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.